The St. Louis area really is a sports city, and this right here is super exciting. The top series in NASCAR is coming to the St. Louis area for the first time. I'm talking about the NASCAR Cup Series. I caught up with one of the racers who is so excited to compete, and he's from here. Thank you so much for joining me here on uh, Show Me St. Louis, Christopher. Can you just please, uh, it's a big race coming up here in uh, St. Louis. Can you tell us about it, man? Yeah, I'm super excited about it. Gateway Motorsports Park is a, uh, a place that I've always had a ton of fun at. I've had a lot of success around the St. Louis area. I grew up in Oklahoma, so it's not too far away from home. Um, but yeah, I actually won my, my first pavement NASCAR race at, at Gateway. So uh, having the Cup Series go back there is going to be really cool and almost like a homecoming for me. And I know you're from Oklahoma, and I was going to ask, you know, how does it feel to be closer to home? and you know be racing closer to home yeah i mean it's just always cool to go to a familiar area right so i ran all the or the majority of the dirt tracks in the st louis area in illinois uh missouri so you know going to st louis feels just really comfortable and, and the guys at gateway motorsports park do a great job of uh making you feel at home and you know they've done a lot of improvements to the facility over the years so i think the cup cars are going to put on a great show for sure, I think so too. And uh, for those who might not know, you know, what can people expect in this race? Yeah, I mean, there's just going to be a lot of unknowns. And, you know, that the, the big thing is even the drivers uh, and the teams don't really know what to expect. So that's going to make it exciting in itself because we're going to a brand new racetrack that the cup cars have never been at. And on top of that, we have the next gen cars. So every time we go to a racetrack, it's a learning experience, and especially going to a new track we've never been to before. I think a lot of people might not understand the, um, well, I, I won't say a lot of people don't. I think a lot of people do, but um, I think a lot of people would love to understand kind of how you guys do what you do. Um, you know, you guys are going at excessive rates of speed that, um, you know, a lot of us can't really comprehend it. So can you talk about the, you know, the thrill behind being behind the wheel and kind of what goes into preparing for races? Yeah, I mean, it's just something that you grow to love, or at least I did. And, and you know, I started racing at a young age and, and just fell in love with it. You know, I love the fact that you're out there competing against so many different competitors and it's just you inside the race cars. So you got to do as good of a job as you can to make the difference to, to be the guy that wins the race. So. As far as preparing for the race, uh, Gateway is typically a really hot race going to St. Louis in the middle of summertime. So you gotta make sure you're hydrated. You know, the heat is probably the, the hardest thing that us drivers have to deal with. And we're expecting Gateway to be a hot race for sure. Definitely, and I have a couple of personal questions. Um, so inside these cars, uh, one, is there AC? So we have what we call AC, and basically all it is is just a helmet blower. Uh, that goes that pumps air into your helmet and it's it's advertised that it's 20 degrees below whatever the intake air temperature is so for example if it's 90 degrees outside then you're getting 70 degree air blown onto you but with that being said our ac box is located in the cab of the car so the interior temperature of the car is way greater than ambient temperature so Use the word AC loosely because it's not your typical AC, but we do have some sort of air conditioning unit, yes. My last personal question, um, is it true that you guys have like a bathroom in the car? We do not have a bathroom in the car. I don't know where you heard that one from, but uh, yeah, that, that is not true. Tim, for understood. Um, I mean, I've never really had the opportunity to ask someone, you know, actually behind the wheel. And so, this is uh, my one selfish moment to ask that question. Uh, so, but um, again, you know, this race is coming here to St. Louis. Um, you know, what's next? You know, what is, what's at stakes here? Yeah, so just a lot of points. That, that's the biggest thing. During this part of the season, we're always trying to accumulate points to set us up for the playoffs. So uh, going to Gateway Motorsports Park, we have an opportunity to win playoff points if you win the race and if you win the stages. So we're in a very heated points battle right now for that final playoff spot, uh, myself and several other drivers. So uh, we're, we're gonna be battling hard to get everything we can. And uh, you know, I, I wanna be that first cup winner in St. Louis. Well, we're rooting for you, Chris, um, you know, for the sake of you being here on the show. So uh, you got a, a nice team behind you here and uh, you know, we're wishing you the best of luck. Thank you so much for joining us here on the show as well. Yeah, thanks for having me.
as mentioned, Christopher Bell will be part of the NASCAR Cup Series field for the inaugural Enjoy Illinois 300 on Sunday, June 5th at Worldwide Technology Raceway. It will take place at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Ticket information can be found at www.tracewaycom Show me St. Louis. We'll be right back. <laughs> 